in your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station, WLMR DB Radio. Thank you all for staying tuned each and every week to speak out your issues with Miss Show You Right Nadine. And Sabrina. And of course, we have a guest I know you all have possibly heard about before uh, because he made the record business alive here in the Atlanta metro area back in the day. Our guest is Mr. Charles Gear, and a lot of people know him, but uh, we're going to get um, to know a little bit about what he's done later on. But tonight, our topic is what's going on with the elected officials. And he had uh, some things that he would like to just uh, bring up. I know one of our questions is, uh, do you think they're serving the community? And do you think they should stay in office more than two terms? And what are some of the things that you think uh, they should do? So those are a couple of questions we would have in mind to ask. But I know uh, Mr. Gear, you know, had some thoughts that he wanted to get off of his mind. And of course, reminding you, we are on Speak Out Your Issues. Mr. Gear, thank you again so much for willing to be on our show speak out your issues, and go ahead and tell our audience a little bit about yourself, and uh, we'll dive in, you know, with our topic. What's going on with elected officials? Which one you want to know first, about me or about the elected officials? Well, I did mention about um, uh, the elected officials, but you could just say, let people know who you are, you know, uh, a little bit about uh, your profession before getting into the elected officials. Okay, my name is Charles Gear, and I live in Atlanta, and I work for Atlantic Records for 25 years. My artist was Frankie Beverly Prince, Luther Vandross, Aretha Franklin, and Vogue. We are family sister said, and the list go on and on and on. But right now, my topic is <laughs> about the city of Atlanta, the mayor in Atlanta, all oh, the mayors in Atlanta. I heard somebody say they didn't want to get a mayor no security when they leave, they leave office. But I think it's the wrong thing to do. I think they should get the mayor more security then and they gave her when she was in, in office. They talking about Keisha, they don't want to give up about two weeks security. What is two weeks security to protect somebody that been looking over the city for so long? Those uh city council should be worried about the the expense account, make sure they don't be cheating on the expense account. They don't worry about giving the mayor something. So I think they should take care of the mayor for at least about four years while she out of office, as long as she was in office. So don't you think that's the best thing to do since she was the mayor of the city of Atlanta? They, them, them city council need to stay out of some of the business that they in into. So I appreciate uh, you bringing that up. Uh, I thought all elected officials have... Um, security for lifelong after they've been in a position like that. Uh, is it something that uh, will the city councilmen are trying to change? Yeah, the city council, they have, they have a security when they lead office, but nobody said nothing about them. And some of these security uh, city council don't nobody want to mess with them no way after they leave uh, <laughs> one with them while they were in, in so they don't have to worry about you getting killed but the mayor they have to worry about because a lot of people don't like the mayor you know they want to want to see something happen to them so that's what happened and the new mayor uh, Cassine Reed I hate for him to be elected in the next thing you know the FBI pulled him off the stage that's gonna be that's gonna be wild too with Cassini. I like him and I think he's a good mayor, 
But he had got all them crooks around him. And when he get in office, them crooks would be right there with that, back there fellowshipping with him and stealing the money and everything else. Well, so, so you know that still, you know that for a fact, or are you just? Oh, he be on the news every time one of them do something. Oh, his true. Old staff there. He just, he just like uh, President Trump. His old shit staff in jail. Oh wow! Well, I he know is he, he gonna have to have new, new, new staff of crooks. Why it has to be a new staff of crooks? <laughs> because we all end up in jail. Oh right, well. Sabrina? Well, maybe maybe the new set may not be, but I understand. And like I mentioned in the beginning, listeners, you all on Speak Out Your Issues on WLMRDB Radio with Mr. Charles Gear, And we have the uh, topic tonight, what's going on with our elected officials. Mr. Gear is just uh, letting us know some of the things that he know and, and definitely his uh, insight as well as his opinion on what should be going on. I'd like to go back to that question in reference to not giving the mayor, current mayor, because she have decided that she's not going to run again. So once she leaves the office, you're saying that the council people are trying to vote on either not giving her security or limited uh, security. They're trying to vote on limited security. Some don't want to get none at all, and some don't want to get two weeks. But I think that they should give her four years security like she's in the mayor. They give her four years. When she's out of the mayor's office, they still supposed to protect her because she was was good in the community. Right. That's, that's my thought about it. Okay. And, of course, uh, Miss Sabrina, I know um, Mr. Gear asked you your opinion uh, or your thoughts. Well, you know, I um, you know, we see all of the news that is embroiled and everything that's going around. And one thing I have learned um, being in law enforcement for as long as I have, you don't believe everything the news reports. Right. They are sensationalists. They will take the smallest bit of information and they will blow it up. They are the worst when it comes to inciting public fear, mass hysteria, um, and the list goes on. For them, it's all about the ratings, whether the truth is for them a piece of the truth or a part of the truth, as long as it's a, a little bit of the truth included in there. Mm. You know, they feel that they have told the story. But I've learned, in, like I said, 13 years in law enforcement, you can't believe, you know, the things that they will say in order to uh, instill the truth. Wow. So I do believe that there is more to that story than what the news media put out. And I think um, until we hear it from... The mouth of the official, right? Uh, I I would just say take it with a grain of salt because they are, like I said, the news media is the worst when it comes to inciting, you know, mass hysteria and, and just causing all kind of confusion and frustration when it comes to the community as you know as a whole. So I don't want to put my opinion on that. Until I hear her or hear one of the officials literally come on and say, okay, this is what our new uh, stand is. This is what we want to do. And this is how it is. Right. Um, I, I, I just don't, Mr. Child, I'm not a fan of the news. I actually don't watch it because I've seen firsthand what they do. And it is awful. So, um, especially when it comes to law enforcement. Um, especially when it comes to anything dealing with the law, they are, you know, they, they can create a really bad situation instead of, of giving us the actual news that should be reported. And the sad part about it is they want, all, it's all about the ratings. They don't want the truth. They want the ratings. And we, and shame on them. I'm going to say that part. Shame on them. 
Right. If uh, okay, let me. I just kind of pulled up some information, um, you all, and of course, it says I was asking uh, would the mayor, you know, get lifelong uh, protection? It says Mayor Bottoms to receive Atlanta Police protection following end of her term. Extension of Mayor Bottoms security detail extension draws criticism, and in the write up. Uh, uh, from actually it's Fox 5 um, let me see published on September 23rd and I see where you're getting this from Mr. Um, Gear uh, it says uh, extension it's a Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms police protection detail will continue for at least six months after her term expires and future Atlanta mayors will also have extended protection. Uh, for some odd reason, maybe they just not like the president of the United States. I'm thinking they had lifelong, so um, you know, protection after being in office like that. In a little notice action by the Atlanta City Council on Monday, the lawmakers authorized the round the clock police detail for up to six months. Um of the new of new life so hmm that's the new law uh familiar with her administration say public okay so that's sort of like a couple of statements um in reference to what you was uh bringing up mr gear right. so um so this the councilman's definitely saying to extend it look look like based on the way it was was stated they don't normally have security uh, but i was always thinking that they did and they saying to give at least six months after her term so we'll definitely look more into that uh, for more details and i appreciate you bringing this to our attention that um uh, because i'm just always thinking that mayors and uh like uh well we do know the president of the united states will get lifelong but um thanks for that is any other uh comments or things that you would like to touch on mr gear no that's about that's about it everybody go out and vote next week and don't get no more crooks in there, huh? <laughs> now everybody go vote, right? Like say everybody go vote so it won't be no more crooks. Is how can you know, you know, if it's gonna be crooks until it comes up. So yeah. um but um yes, I know you had mentioned <laughs> that. And <laughs> <laughs> no more crooks. I'm part of that. Yeah, you got that. Because they got one and one or two of them real bad about cheating on their expenses. Before they got it off, good. they were cheating on their expenses. So they need to be cool and don't be cheating as much on their expenses. Oh, okay. This one right, this one right here. He overdid it on the expenses. He got caught. He got busted before he even got in the city council. Real good. And if he wow. listen, he know who I'm talking about. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did that I ever? Don't call no... Do I don't understand? Call no name, huh? Do understand? You don't have to call names, but uh, like you say, if they be listening, because of course that reminds me that I will show. We are recording right now. We are air on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will be hearing Mr. Charles Gear uh, speaking on this issue on, you know, the situation, thinking that our current mayor, once she leaves office, definitely need to have more security than just was stated. But to your your to the fact of the matter, based on um, this article from Fox 5, they were saying that the councilman, um, you know, uh, voted to have round the clock detail of security for six months after she gets out of office. So, um, you know, and that's a good thing. That's something definitely, uh, need to look, you know, look more into. And then it's, 
if it's something that comes up where um they should should have they should have that in order for at least like you say i i like the way you thought of it have it uh security for at least four years of the term that how they you know were in office so I think they gave it to Manny Jackson. I think I think Manny Jackson had four years from when he he was in, and four years when he out, and then he reelected again and got four more years of security. Okay, well you definitely been well, around. She, Keisha, Keisha, she's the woman, so she had a better chance of somebody target her than Manny Jackson because he was a man oh. and he was big and they didn't want to mess with him big as he was. <laughs> you you brought up a point. Uh, because she's a woman, he's a man. Uh, target to to do something to her because she's a female. Hey, they the way the people doing these days is just whatever they after whatever they're after they go for whether it's a male or female. But yeah. uh, definitely appreciate you bringing that up. Is it any? You know other? what? I'm agree. I agree with you. You know, uh, Mr. Charles. Um, I agree with you as far as the service. I, I, I understand, you know, they can only do but a limited amount because, of course, you know, our police force is taxed right now with especially everything that's going on. So for them to provide, you know, service 24 hours around the clock, that means that's, you know, they would have to have them officers, you know, pulled off, off duty um, off the street to do that. And she may already have a detail, you know, her personal detail. And I would do. I think they should, um, especially of, with all of the things that are going on and all the things that people are, are saying. Um, I think she should need, she need, she does need more security. I think that, that right there, I agree with you on. That we need to, you know, protect. We do need to protect our, our, um, our city officials and our mayor. And just because you don't like, you know, certain things that they do, um, it doesn't mean that they don't deserve the right to be protected. Well, I think right now when she when she goes out on the streets, uh, goes to the funeral, all she has is one security with her. You tell. So if somebody want to let it beat them up first, and then get it up. My um, friend, they don't they, do that. They, they, they don't really get enough. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give enough security while she's yeah. walking around right here in the mail. And then they talk about no security when she's out of the mail. That, oh, that's something got to be talked about for a yeah. while. Oh, I pray yes. That they don't, I pray that they, you know, keep her safe. Definitely. Um, you know, and, 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 no and then again, I might go downtown with another press conference and blow it, really blow it up. Uh -uh. It, ain't, it ain't right. I yeah, I definitely. Hey, Mr. Charles, you know you've been around, and you've right, you've right. seen a lot of uh, different elected officials, um, you know, come and go. And just the mere fact yeah. that you bringing up uh, Mayor Maynard Jackson, shucks, that was way back what in the eighties and nineties. And just to know and remember, you know, how things was done then. And uh, audience, definitely, what do you think out there? Put something on your mind. And these are the topics that are not normally talked about, uh, knowing the security. But again, we appreciate you bringing that up, Mr. Gear. Um, All right. Yes. What is it? Any other uh, situation going on with the elected officials that you would like to talk about? It's, 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 it's another situation that's happening every day, six days a week on every LMR. That's Miss Nadine and Sir <laughs> Charles every morning yes. at 10 o'clock on WLMR radio station. They is getting down, both of them. Oh, yes, yes. Miss Sabrina, definitely. He asked me to be his co-host the, the other week on his Sir Charles show, which oh. it, it airs, and it's mainly music and you know, uh, he was just talking about a lot of, um, you know, the music that he helped uh, put out. What what years was that, Mr. Charles? It was like the same as the 2021. Oh, oh wow. Up to, up to current. Yes. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Yeah, you gotta let, let everybody know what that you out um, what you oh, doing. Yes. Oh that yes. He had to um ask me about uh you know, co hosting with him on that day. And I guess um mm-hmm. So, um, is it any, uh, any other elected official you'd like to, uh, speak out your issue about what's going on with the Mr. Gear? Yeah, I'm glad they got Trump out of there. I hope you don't <laughs> never get him back in there no more. <laughs> Trump, Trump <was> a trip. <laughs> hey, somebody told me that he asked, who was that said yesterday? He was asking them to uh, please let him back on social media. I'm wondering, is yeah. that true? <laughs> no, they don't even let him back on, on social media. They don't social. let him back on that because what he do? He get them Trump on his side again. They start doing crazy things. Yeah. Yeah, they don't need... They don't you need. know, I found this sound kind of interesting. While he was in office and, and, and blurting out all this craziness, they kept his account. I mean, you know, they, they did shut his account down, I think, once. And after for two days, and they came back up. Um, but they did say that once he was out of office, they were permanently going to, uh, you know, shut his account down. Uh-huh. So that has been done. Um, so I did see something uh, um, about him wanting to sue Twitter. Mm. Uh, lawsuit on Twitter because they wouldn't bring his account back. Then I heard he was creating his own platform so that he could put, you know, out what he wanted. So I, I just, I, I'm, I'm like you, Mr. Charles. I hope he don't. I know. I hope he's not given the, another platform to spew, you know, some of the racial epithets that he's been known to to spit out. You know. Right. The stain that he has left is still that stain is so hard to rub out. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's a it's a, a it, I mean it doesn't matter what you do to clean that stain it's still there. Right. Yeah, well, um, you know. So he's gonna keep a stain on him as long as he lives. Yeah. Everything, you know that stain that he put it for that four year stain that he placed in office. And, and what he did to this country as a whole, to the, to the world, as a matter right. of fact, you know, the things that he's done, that, that stain is still there. Oh, yes. And, and I'm praying that, you know, eventually we'll, it'll it'll fade, it'll go away. Um, right. So, right. right girl. I'll talk to y'all later. Hold on, Mr. Gear. I know you're probably about ready to go to bed, but we just want to, uh, and I appreciate you coming on our show that was the main uh, topic and the view that you wanted to get out. Um, I wanted to ask, if you don't mind, um, actually, uh, let me see. Do you think uh, elected officials should be in office more than two terms? It's up to them. It, it just, uh, it, if they want to run two times, if they're good enough, just stay in that two times, but if they want to leave, they should leave. I'm Just talking bring about... Kisa, Kisa, she wants to leave, so right. she can leave, but she still needs to be protected while she's out there. Right. She, gonna, she ain't going to just stay in the house. She's going to be out there. And she might have did something to hurt somebody or said something to hurt somebody, and these folks don't forget about nothing goes on in, in their four years of turn. Right, right. Uh, appreciate it. And I'm saying, do you think uh, elected officials should hold be in office more than two terms? Say, if, 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 if they're good and the people want them, they should. Yeah, they should consider it doing it. Kisa, I think she would want another one, but she want to give it up. So I don't know why she want to give it up. I guess the folks got on her nerve. <laughs> and once she once she leave there, and she ain't got no security. They really gonna be on her nerve. So yes. that's it. Yes. Okay. And last one, last question. Uh, what are some of the things you think uh, they should do as elected officials? I know you're saying some of them get in there and, and go sideways and do their own thing by being crooks, like you say. That's your words, quote unquote, from Charles Gear. Uh, but and we've always 
heard, you know, different things goes on uh, through the news of what people do. Um, but it, it's funny, like Sabrina said, we haven't been hearing a lot. But most of the times it do come out in the news if somebody who's an elected official um, do something that's wrong. And a lot of times they don't. But just before leaving the air, um, what what do you think they should do in reference to helping the people or just your thoughts on elected officials? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. So what do you think they should do as far as leaving your thoughts to our audience? Um, we we definitely know they they should definitely be honorable, you know, have integrity um, and be, like they say, upright, standing um, citizens in the community. But do you have any thoughts? You want to leave with our audience? No, I don't see it all I need to say. I don't need to talk too much. They have me downtown. <laughs> <laughs> no, they won't, Charles. They won't, because you know what to do. You you know what to say, and we really appreciate you. I know that um, you have a busy schedule, and you probably have something else going on. We want to thank you for coming on speak out your issues this evening and giving us your definitely thoughts on what should be done with our current mayor once she leaves office and that is continue uh protection uh, more than what they're advocating for as well as like you're saying at least the four years you know of a term so with that we definitely want to say good night to you and we appreciate it and we will take a station break
Thank you all for staying tuned in each and every week to Speak Out Your Issues with Ms. Show You Right, Nadine and Sabrina. And of course, we did have our guest on earlier, Mr. Charles Gear, who's a legend uh, of, in his own time. Uh, he he put out, I'm going to have to play some of that um, Atlantic, um, at, you know, the Atlantic music, Atlantic records music on our show tonight. I know he'll get a thrill out of that. But he, oh, he really man. just wanted to come on and the artist he represented. Huh? Yeah, speak out his issues about um our current mayor when she gets out of office here in the Atlanta metro area, uh having security. So he had a you know, he made his point and what he thought, you know, what should uh happen and, and that was good. That's, that was good that he wanted to come on and just, you know, voice his opinion on on that. And he did bring up that, you know, she's definitely female, you know, definitely need protection, you know, different from a male. He made the example of um, Mayor Maynard Jackson. So he's a big guy. They wouldn't want to mess with him anyway. And just gave examples of how he had, uh, four years of um, security after he got out of his, his uh, really, he was in office, I think, for eight years. No, four years, and he got reelected. So he had four years of protection, uh, you know, out of office as well as in office, and then for both terms. So uh, what do you think on those terms, uh, Ms. Sabrina? I mean, that was the first time I you know, heard about um, 
didn't know anything about how long they had protection once they get out of office. I know with um, the the um, president, it's lifelong, right? So, so what I do you think? About I, I I I knew that it was uh, for a short period. I didn't know that. Sure, I don't know six months. I thought it was, you know, a little bit longer than that. Right. Um, you know, for them, I thought, you know, I, my thought process was maybe a, a year. Um, but um, because what happens with, you know, what with the mayors, a lot of times uh, they also have businesses of their own. Like she's an attorney. She just didn't a, a little right, attorney. right, um, right. So she has right. her own law firm. She has her own business and so forth. And so they move on. Um, to different things, you know, in their career um, path. So it, uh, I think it would be kind of hard, you know, to try and, and, and follow her as she's going, you know, to different places. Right, so, right. Uh, and any attorney. But um, the question I wanted to pose, was, because he brought out, uh, he said something that I, I didn't, you know, it was a thought that hit me. And I was like, you know, is, you know, what do you think about women? Do you think the women in politics get the same treatment as men uh, oh. in the political arena? You know, uh, do are they do they hold the same level of of respect that the men do? You know, right. as, as it relates to how they're treated uh, in office, and you know, and even uh, under the dome. You know, what does that look like for them? Do they have to fight harder? Um, you know, what does what would that look like? So I would love to know what that looks like, and, and is that a, a an issue for them? You know, right. that would be a great topic to to discuss. How are they treated in office, right? Um, while they're in in that political arena, are they treated the same as the men? Are they seeing a difference? Are they seeing favoritism, you know, that those kind of questions. So I would like to know that. So if any of our artists um, have any insight on that or can share that with us, please. Exactly. Um, post a comment. Exactly. Um, I would like to know. Right, right. Exactly. And of course, you feel free to go to our Facebook page or actually our website. And uh, that's uh, speakoutyourissues.com or just simply give us a call at 404 404- Seven three five eight six zero seven, and um, that's a great point, uh, Miss Sabrina, in reference to, you know, uh, do they, you know, get the same as if it's a male uh, right. mayor or if it's a male congressman or if it's a if it's a you know if a female president of the United States, um, you know, hey. You have the same office, you should be able to get right. the same, you know, amenities. So exactly. um, I'm glad he brought that point out because one thing about it is, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, and it, it's always been that discussion, you know, it's always like on the pay grade different, but things have improved over the years uh, for, you know, for, um, you know, women in leadership. Right. hmm so, okay. Right. Because that's always been an, an issue um, as it relates to work, you know, equal work. Um, just, if you're doing the same work, right. uh, we should get, get paid. And it, and it has been shown that, you know, this is a, a fight that, women have been having for a long time and they're just asking for equal pay. If I'm doing the same amount of work, if I'm doing the same job you're doing, um, working, you know, even more hours, uh, and my, my input is vital to your company and what I'm bringing to your company. Pay me what I'm worth. Why would that even be an issue, right? So, um, I, I want to know. I, I really do want to know from from my listeners. If you are uh, out there, do you feel that um, I, 
our elected officials or women in office get the same amount of respect and, and treatment that the men get. Right, right. And uh, before we close out, um, definitely just want to run this by you. Um, it, they say it's five things you may not know about local election officials and the uh, crucial work they do. Of course, uh, that could be all night talking about that. But it, they work in a nonpartisan or bipartisan fashion to make sure that every eligible vote is counted. Um, that's definitely something that they're supposed to do. And we, as the citizens, uh, hope that they are doing and 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 not just doing what they want to do. We're not going to bring up uh, <laughs> what Mr. Gear mentioned about being crooks. But, um, you know, when you take the oath of being in office, you, you look for them to to uh, definitely do the right thing. And the second one, uh, they say, don't make the, they don't make the rules and they don't set their budgets. So, hmm, it says local election officials are often caught in the middle of conflicts between legislators, courts, and local budget makers. So that's just one point uh, on that. The third one is they must wear many hats but are underpaid. And all of this is coming from uh, the BC News um, uh, Network and the uh, fourth one, they tend to be said they tend to be white and female, but there are encouraging signs that the profession is becoming more integrated and equitable. So many reasons the gender for this gender imbalance. We were just talking about that, but uh, at least one is related to the historical role of these officials served which is still apparent in many of their titles. So, of, of course, um, you know, we're seeing more females getting in those positions that have been, um, you know, over the centuries having males in those positions. So uh, that's something to think about. And number five, today's local election officials are tomorrow's state and federal leaders you know we would hope uh, of course most of the times we do see that say if you start out elected officials start out as a congress uh, well actually um, commissioner or councilman the next level would be a state rep or go towards senator and then from there or uh, they can you know become a mayor or a, a congressman and then, you know, uh, the senator, I think, is is up in that reign as well. Because from a senator, that's when they be trying to vie to become president. So that's just a little information on um, what's going on with elected officials. Um, I know with, with the new way of doing things, it's just... I, like with everybody else, they've had to come up with, uh, you know, knowing ways and, and and new ways of doing things. They had to jump in the hot seat to make sure that things continue to run, you know. And, and I think, I know in the Atlanta metro area, the DeKalb County uh, area, definitely, you know, they they got it together in reference to how to serve the community uh, during this situation that we've been in, you know, for over the last uh, almost two years. So, and and it's it's like a new way of, of living, like a new way of doing, like I was telling someone earlier, remember Sabrina, we, we uh, looked at those futuristic cartoons and we're just about getting there today. Yes. So did you have any 
any uh, thoughts on what's going on, our topic, what's going on with elected officials? No, um, um, the last thing that Mr. Charles said, and it is vital, you know, vote. We always talk about voting. Right. That's your, that's your voice. Uh, that's your right. Right. Uh, the last, um, we had a couple of, um, uh, was it the last two meetings that we had, you know, with the NAACP, and it talks about voting. Right. It talks about you know, um, don't just get caught up on the capital level, on, on you know, in, in the Washington level. Mm -hmm. It's the local level right. that determines how your quality of life will be. Because it's on the local level that they make decisions as it relates to your schools, the zone, the neighborhoods, and and. Um, and so forth. So when you have a problem in your neighborhood, you don't call Washington. <laughs> <laughs> you you're not gonna call. You know your um your you're not gonna go to the Capitol here. You you gotta. They're gonna tell you, okay, we do have a chain of command. Have right. you contacted your local officials that right. represent your district? Right, right. So it is important. It is vital that we vote. We want change. If you want change to happen, you have to do something that to enact that change. Right, right. If you right. want, you know, legislation, if you want things to happen in your community, you got to get out and vote. You can't just, you know, get angry and tear up your community because things are not going the way you want it. Right. Um, the pen is literally mightier than the sword when it comes to your quality of life. That is so true, so true. And again, for you all out there, we've been talking about uh, what's going on, you know, with our elected officials. Get to know them, just like Sabrina mentioned. Uh, get to know who represent you locally, statewide, as well as nationally. And um, a couple of more things just to, to leave with our audience. How the U.S. government is organized. Constitution of the United States divides the federal government into three branches to make sure no individual or group will have too much power. Most of the time, Sabrina, they don't know it's the legislative that makes the laws. Uh, Congress comprised of the House of Representatives and Senate. The executive uh, carries out the laws. That's the president, vice president, cabinet, most federal uh, agencies. And then the judicial evaluates laws, which is the Supreme Court and other courts. So uh, that's just to leave that with you. Most of the times, you know, during major uh, elections, like with, with the president, um, they you hear them talking about and talking this way, but most of the times people don't understand. So I just wanted to leave that with you. Uh, any other one thing you'd like to state before we... Like they say, X is stage left. Mm. Well, just all what I always say, Miss Ali, you know, when you know your value, no one can ever diminish your worth. So true, so true on that. And with that, you guys, just uh, take a moment and make sure that uh, you know who represent you. Matter of fact, for most part here in the South, November the 2nd is election. Uh, it's, it's the local municipalities, the cities. So look around and see if it's anything um, that you need to be voting for. And again, don't be afraid to get to know who is representing you. And with that, you all have a great evening. And look forward to hearing us on this Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on WLMR-DB Radio. And you all have a great night. 
Do you want top-notch entertainment or Broadway plays for your event or establishment? Then see you need to hook up with Newham Karsha Broadway Place Promoters, LLC. Give them a call today at 470-776-0863. Your clients will be running back to your establishment when they see your next event is produced by Newham Karsha Broadway Place Promoters, LLC. I want to leave my footprints on the sands of time Know there was something that meant something that I left behind When I leave this world, I'll leave no regrets Leave something to remember so they won't forget I was here
in your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station, WALMR DB Radio.